Today I would like to demonstrate how to merge with envelopes and labels. I'm going to open up this new document here um, as an appropriate name. I think I will just go ahead and save it now. Um, let's save this particular one as speech main envelope because this is going to be my envelopes for that uh, for the main document but this is the envelopes that goes with it okay I will then go to my mail tab start the mail merge and this time I want to go ahead and click my step-by-step -step mail merge wizard but instead of choosing letters I want to choose envelopes instead now that I have the envelopes option I will uh, start by going to the uh, starting the document. Now under the change document layout we can look under here under envelope options and you will see that the default under envelope options is going to be if it pops up here is going to be the size 10. Now the size 10 is just your regular size business envelope. See it's four and a half uh, four and one eighth of an inch tall and nine and a half inches long. So this is just kind of your regular document. We're going to keep that as our default. We'll go ahead and click OK. And then after that, we'll go to Next and select our recipients. We're going to use an existing list. So now we will browse and find that list that we used earlier. And we are going to use that list that we had under Speech Data Source and then click open. There's my three names that I'd entered in already. These are going to be um, the people that I would like to now print this envelope for. Next I'd like to arrange my envelope. So I'm going to position the insertion point in the letter address area. So I'll just click down here and this box will appear. And now it's going to be time for me to insert an address block. So I'll click on Address Block, and this is the way that I'd like for it to be addressed. Then I'll say Next, Preview My Envelopes. And then, I'll, of course, I want to make sure at the top I go through and preview all of those envelopes to make sure that they're correct. If you wanted to put a uh, return address, of course, you'd be able to type it here as well. If you're using a letterhead, most of the time this is already printed on a pre-printed envelope. I'll then click Next so that I complete the merge and go to Edit Individual Envelopes, Merge All, and then you will see that I have all three envelopes.